Hi, I'm Elise. I'm opening my doors to show you my sweet digs. This apartment is roughly 100 square meters. We have the spare room, which also serves as an office, the bathroom, a kitchen, our bedroom, and a living room. I'm a dancer, a choreographer, a creative and movement director, and I'm the founder of Therapy of Dance. Therapy of Dance was sort of created for me as an antidepressant, and it's since been a gateway into this world of taking care of my mental health and realizing that actually a lot of other people connect with this method as well. I think it's really important to talk about mental health. My personal strategies have evolved over time. The number one thing for me is exercise. The next has been therapy, so actually sitting down with a therapist to talk has been awesome for me. Having a conversation with a friend can be as therapeutic as sitting down with a therapist. Just like going to a dance class might be just as therapeutic as meditation for you. Berlin influenced me, my style, and everything about my home. We are now in our living room. My favorite thing about this room is the light. It hits this beautiful piece of art painted by our friend Harry Edwards. Marino, my husband, he found these chairs at a secondhand store. And because they're retro, we couldn't actually find any other chairs to match. So we combined them with these cute live Fana chairs from Ikea, actually. Mixing and matching the colors felt like a fun thing to do. This space transforms into a studio. I actually get this table and pull it all the way back. And then I have all of this space to choreograph. I feel like our bedroom is really considered and colorful, but also calm and relaxed. This we picked up from a furniture market here in Berlin. We have these epic steel drawers that we picked up from a market as well. I really love this industrial look. Also the way that it forces me to fold my clothes so well because they're constantly on display. I love to have flowers all through the house just like we have tons of plants. The way that this place reflects my style as a person is open and practical and minimal. The apartment is really helpful for my mental health. Just having the space to be alone. I think in this day and age, we're so bombarded with stimulus all the time that it's really important to sit down and just stare at a wall sometimes and process whatever it is that's going on in your brain. This is what we like to call the studio, which is my office. This is my synthesizer keyboard which is where I like to make up silly songs. It's a really creative space for me and it's important to have space in the house that isn't connected to sleeping or eating or relaxing. This is quite an energizing room for me and I'm super grateful to have this space. Bathroom. Two things come to mind in the bathroom. The first is the bath. I would gladly spend an hour in the bath every day during winter if I could. Another thing that I love is this old vintage poster of dolphins and porpoises. So we're gonna go to the kitchen next. Cooking should be really social, so I think a kitchen is nice when people can hang out. I like to think I'm a good host. I take a lot of pleasure in having my friends come around Sustainability is very much a value in our household. The cool thing about living in this apartment is there's a nice courtyard and in there is a hazelnut tree. So if I'm motivated enough, then I might make some hazelnut ice cream if we're lucky. Home to me isn't necessarily a place. I've lived in a number of countries now and what I keep coming back to is my body. So learning to feel present and confident and this makes me feel at home. 
What I do love about this home is that I share it with Marino and we've created memories here.